Terracotta Kato, Namai Hekimai Parimai. Welcome to this online learning guide for Freiburg High School. Certainly strange times we're living in at the moment. I think there are three key ingredients to learning successfully online in this new age. Firstly, you've got to look after your well being and the well being of your family. Go on to our Facebook page and have a look at the video clip that our senior student leaders made about what they've been doing while they've been in a bubble and how they're looking after their well-being. I think that's really well done. Thanks for doing that, guys. Secondly, it's important that when we start back at school next Wednesday, you have a timetable. You need to have a clear structure to your day. It's not holiday mode anymore. So it's a good idea to use the school timetable as a skeleton. And I say that because for those lessons where the teacher does want you to be present and they are going to have question times and they're going to run sort of a whole class or small group lesson, we want that to happen at the time it would have happened in school. That's to avoid clashes with other subjects. So for those subjects, and it won't be many of your subjects, I imagine, that have and want to have that time, schedule that into your week. Then make up your own timetable that revolves around that. Include break times, include a time for lunch, and importantly, get some time for your own physical well-being. It's important you stay active when you haven't got these sports and things that you normally play. So take that walk or run around the block, maybe three times around the block. Stay in your bubble, but try to be active. So give yourself a clear structure each day. And thirdly, it's important that you keep in contact with your teachers. Your first point of call should be your academic coach, and they will be in contact with you at least once each week to see how your timetable and your structure of learning is going. But also keep in contact with your teachers. If you have a question, send them an email. They will endeavor to respond to you within 24 hours. Um, remember, some of them have got 140 students, um, so they might be able to respond to you immediately, but they'll do their very best to get back to you. So. Let's take this as a positive experience. It might be a way that you can learn new ways that you can learn and that suit you for learning that might lead you well into the future. So I look forward to seeing all of you back at school when we can return to normal. But in the meantime, let's make the most of the situation for your learning. Kia kaha.